Alright, run our way to the wall. Walking for some reason during the night. Did someone getting killed? And why don't... Seven elves. Why don't I have a sword? All right. Let's play a little game, shall we? Ah, oh, Ramsey Snow. You know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> uh, time to just leave, probably. This is Not horrible. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. Yes, indeed. To these foresters. Day, my lord. So um, I'm probably in trouble now. My lord? Shh, listen. There. Ah, oh, shit. Hear that? I know I heard something. If I run, I'll be definitely seen, so... Never this mind. Is probably the only chance I've got to survive. We've wasted there enough we time go. already. Right, so he's two days out. No, that's not the guy I can do. I'm on my way to the wall. It's, uh... Not my... Well, I suppose I am still loyal to House Forrester, but... I've got my orders to go to the wall, so... I mean, no matter what I do, he's going to get there. Is this guy still alive? It's an interesting banner he's got there. Oh, God. What a fucking maniac. Ethan. This is back at Iron Wrath then. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. Huh. Pretty good name. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. Lord These Ethan the Awesome. These were people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. All right. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. All right. What have we got I've here? I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Missed. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. 
this house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Aww. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Deserters yes, and thieves need Lord, to be executed. I, I, I don't want to do it. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave. Leave the poor man alone. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <coughs> you Stop address kicking him as him. Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. Yeah. You can send him to the war. Well, he deserves to live. The wall's no good. He won't be able to support his family from the wall. Take his fingers, He's a thief. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. It's the law, please, my, my son, it's the law. My lord, please! Please, no! <laughs> my lord. Normally, it is the Lord's duty to carry out the sentence, but I am willing to carry it out, if you do not feel ready. I will carry out the sentence. If you dish out the punishment. This is injustice, my Lord! That didn't feel good, but this is Game of Thrones. Pretty sure episode one of season one, Ned Stark chopped someone's head off that who was, was a deserter. Certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. I don't really know who to trust. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the yeah. other. How do I decide one's too aggressive them? and the other one's Talk too to soft. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. I think I've already made my mind Tonight up that it should be the uncle. Council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. <sighs> see, I don't... Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. The military guy just seems a bit too harsh and a bit too brash. Whereas the other guy seems a bit too soft. Mm, well, let's speak to them and, and see. Uh, well, we'll talk to Duncan. That was his name, Duncan. He's the one who knows about the... Um, Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. 
Who knows about the... As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favour for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. No. I only hope to give you an advantage. I understand. And you're forgiven. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. So, do I just get one question or do I get to... Alright. So I only get to ask one question. Uh, where's this other guy then? Let's have a look at him. Is he this way? This is a bit of an awkward walk around. Did I really have to walk around this way? That means now! Sword up! Swing left! Parry! Wrong! I did not dodge the old sword. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man That's you need. That's true. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. But I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Oh, this is going to be a difficult one, because he is he's the tough guy that we need right now. Um... I really can't just walk it right. Let's talk to some other people and see what they have to say. Malcolm. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Yes, Hello, Lord Ethan. Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. But, where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? I thought he was exiled. She asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. And if I don't I agree, you're not going. I here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. And she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just... Try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. True. Did you know that just as well. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. It's true. I've been a lord for but what? My a day? My are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. Right. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why, Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. True. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Okay. Uh, I don't really like Royland either, but I'm starting to think he might Mother be the better choice. Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But Fingers right now crossed. I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. Hmm, and? The way you punished him? Yes. How could you be so cruel? It's the... 
Low? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? Do you think it's easy? I'm the third born son. Father never prepared me for this. I'm doing the best I can. I know you are, Ethan. I know. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. Mm, I thought you'd say that. And smart, and everyone trusts his judgement. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Who else can I talk to? You're all worthless and weak. Real well, I'll look at some food. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. Oh, shit. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can you can't take people's food. Trappers. Perhaps they can do more. Yeah, my do Lord. that. Can't take food directly out of people's mouths if they're going to starve over the winter. Uh, I'll talk to him in a sec. I think there was somebody on oh, Ironwood Shield. Very nice. Right, I'm sh yeah, here we go. Careful. Oh. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good saws have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give you ha. strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, Aww. I could never forget, but... I'm honoured. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. Yeah, Not someday like I'll have a real one too. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I need to start learning to use I a sword. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Nah, they were nobodies. You'll never find them. Right, let's see what the maester has to say. Uh, he'll probably have some good advice. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared <sighs> to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? 
From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Uh... Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to name the maester. Uh, the sentinel. Oh, but I'm not sure. We should be a lot richer than we are if we control all this iron wood. I suppose that's a nice big house. <laughs>